Hey guys, Vivi, welcome back to another video, and um, this is going to be like another sort of vlog um, style video where I'm just going to talk about a few things. And um, I haven't made a video in a little while. My last video that I actually made was my, I believe it was my destination XP for January of 2014, and I got a few levels in that one. And um, it was one of my, one of my, um, one of my better destination XPs in my opinion. And because I've obviously, um, with that series, I'm just going to be, you know, showing you guys what levels I've got throughout the month. And, um, you know, as I'm approaching the Max Cape now, that series is probably going to be ending, you know, within the next few months, if I get Max Cape in the next few months. And, um, um, currently 2,567 total level, as you see in the background. Um, I'm going to be getting 112 Dungeoneering, and then you'll see me also fail very, very hard in, um, very, very hard in Troll Invasion. Because oh, I'm, I'm not going to spoil it. You guys just watch it and just you know just have a look. And it was just, it was a waste. It was a waste of 70k agility XP or like 40 or so k divination XP. But um, just watch that. And then you know I was a bit, little bit angry about that one. But uh, today I like l the last few times you know I've been wanting to make a video because I really do enjoy making these like these style videos. Um, I but I haven't you know I just don't know like you know I don't have a sort of topic I want to speak about in the video. Um, I kind of just like ramble about certain stuff. And um, normally I'll try and have some sort of topic when I start speaking. Um, and you know I haven't really had a topic. I've got a few more topics now, so I'm gonna make a few videos on a, f uh, a few different topics because a little bit's happened. Um, but um, in this video, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be speaking about sort of a few things that happened in my work last night. Um, it was quite entertaining, so hopefully you guys enjoy. And if you did, likes are always appreciated, but they're not you know they're not necessary. But um, so yeah, basically I work at a place called uh, Noodlebox, and um. I, work, I don't know, I'm still training there, I've been training there for about a month now, but overall I've only been working about eight shifts, so I'm still getting the hang of it. Um, basically, what you, what, you know, what's required in the job is knowing how to work the till, uh, knowing how to pick the vegetables, put them in a bowl, and then knowing, um, knowing how to put certain noodles instead of other noodles if they, if the people want, um, if people don't, if people don't want a certain noodle and they want a different noodle, make sure you do that and then, I don't know, it's just making sure that the order's right and then handing out and then restoring, um, restoring, uh, what is it, containers and stuff with new supplies and stuff like that, but that's basically what I do with the job, but last night, um, I got to work at like, I think it was, I got there like 20 past 5 uh, for my shift at 5.30 so I got in like 20, 20 past 5 and um, I was at the back and I, w so I walked in the back door and as soon as I walked in there was a massive pile of like washing stuff so I went around the front and spoke to my manager I was like oh, you want me to start the washing she was like oh yes please so I was in there for about an hour and um, you know do, while I'm at the back the f there's like a phone at the back as well so you've got the like the massive the two sinks where you do the washing up and all the washing up liquid and the um, the steel wool and like the cloths and stuff they use for washing and then next right right next to the wash washing sinks you've got the phone so generally whoever's doing the washing um, will normally take the phone order so you know I took a few phone orders and it's all good because um, there's like this um there's a pen and there's some pa there's some papers and stuff right next to the phone and I'm getting better at it you know you just like say you know you pick up the phone and then you say you know my name is blah, 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 blah. and then they say you know can I place an order you say sure um, and there was this one guy, I couldn't really understand what he was saying, he was from New Zealand, and um, when he picked up, he, he sounded like a really, really big, um, you know, like a prop, like a, a front row New Zealand um, All Blacks player, and um, he was he was there, so he's like, you know, kind of a small KT, which is like, um, which is like a, a meal with really, really thick noodles, and then like a bunch of vegetables and stuff, so he's like, yeah, small KT, and then he asked me for Wang Tongs or something, I was like, um, Wang Tong, um, it took him about five times. I got him to repeat it about five times, um, and he was saying something about a Wang Tong. Um, so if anybody knows what a Wang Tong is, can you please put it put it in the um, in the comments below? Because I really appreciate that. But it turns out he wanted things called dim sims. Um, so what happened was um, I was on the phone to him. I was like, you know, um, we don't actually sell Wang Tongs. So I got him to spell it out. And it was quite funny because you know Wang Tong. Um, so that was unfortunate. It sounded like he was like yelling on the phone. So I was getting, you know, getting getting a bit scared about that one. And he came in and he was, he looked, okay, instead of being a massive prop guy, he came in and he looked like an intimidating like flanker. Um, and he was, you know, he was pretty built. And he came in, he was like, because um, the manager was there and I was serving him at the desk. And he was like, hey, do we, uh, do, do you guys sell any Wang Tongs? And <laughs> the manager was kind of just like, um, no, sorry. Um, but it turns out the Wang Tong is pretty much a dim sims, apparently. 
Um, so we got him, you know, two dim sims instead of some spring rolls or wang tongs or something. So that was quite funny. And then the second thing that happened, I was on the phone to um, I was on the phone to a girl called uh, Rihanna because she wanted to place a phone order. So I took her order. She got she wanted a few things, but she wanted a thing called like a pandemonium pack, which is basically three three meals. Um, you also get six dim sims or six spring rolls or three of each, and then you also get a 1.25 liter coke. So she wanted that massive meal deal. And um, instead of saying the meal, like the actual meal themselves, for example, a combination or pad thai chicken or satay chicken or something like that, um, she just said the numbers because generally in store we have um, we have the we have menus that have the meal and then next to them we have the number next to the like the next to the meal name, um, and you know so I just I just took down the numbers. She said number seven, number eight, and number fifteen. So I was like, yeah, that's fine. You know, just regular seven, regular eight, and then regular fifteen. Got a name. Her name is Rihanna, and it was quite funny because the song that was playing in the background while she was on the phone was was by Rihanna. I can't remember what song it was, but I thought that was quite funny. So basically, I got this little phone order. I um, you know. It, it wasn't until I hung up with a phone, and I didn't take her phone number, because uh, generally I'll take the contact number and her like and the pe and the person's phone number, um, just just in case you know something like this happens. But of course, one of the only ones I didn't take their phone number. Um, I needed the phone number, so what happened was I wrote down the numbers, and in store we didn't actually have any any of the menus left with the numbers on them. Um, but when I went for my job interview, what I did was I took one of the menus home and put it on my desk so I could study it and see what noodles and what vegetables go in what. So my sister was at home. So I phoned my younger sister and uh, she was she was at a friend's house um, but she didn't pick up. So then I phoned my older sister and then she was asleep in bed um, and she was such a champion. So she went into my room and looked at the menu and then she read out what numbers correspond to what meals. So that's pretty much saved my life. And, um, you know, that was a very, very entertaining night. So um, that's all I have to speak about today, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please give it a like. And um, be sure to watch, uh, you know, future videos and stuff like that. Apart from that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. And uh, I'll see you in the next video.